Hey guys, so welcome to this video. Um, I'm going to be talking about different kinds of acrylic paints that I normally use and um, um, what is the difference between them. So here you can see on this part, you can see a lot of thick body acrylics. Yeah, so this is what normally people use. Um, even when I started, I didn't really know much about fluid acrylics. So I also started with thick body acrylics. So this is what is a thick body acrylics. They are pretty thick texture as you can see. It's like almost standing out right from the bottle as it is coming out. So this is the texture of the paint. Okay, I'll, uh, There are different brands. So this is basics. This is a really good brand, but I really don't prefer this brand. I prefer Camel always because uh, uh, one of the main reason that I prefer Camel over any other brand is because uh, look at this mouth. It's so easy to take it out and keep it on your uh, palette or you, you can directly put the color on the canvas as well. Whereas you see the difference uh, with this. You see this cap? It kind of bothers me while taking out the paint. Plus also the mouth is really inside. It's not protruding out like the camel. So I find it really difficult to use this paint. So uh, mostly when people start into acrylics, probably you will, if you buy a set of 12 colors, this is the size that you would get. Or you can buy individual colors also like these ones. These are all individually bought. Um, I think these are 120 ml ones. They come in various sizes. Um, I'll show you a couple of more size that I have. So this is 100, um, 120 ml. And uh, I don't see the size uh, written on it, but this is a little bit smaller. Um, this is 40 ml. This size is 40 ml, so you can see the difference between the size. So depending on the quantity that you would use, you can buy this size or this size. This is 120 ml, this is 40 ml. And these are even smaller. Oh, so this is also 40 ml. Cool. So um, now in the sets, I think they come in 10 ml or 12 ml. So different uh, sets have different uh, quantities. So this is all about thick body acrylics. So these are all the thick body acrylics that I have, as you can see. Now, coming to one of the most uh, frequently asked questions by my students. Do I mix water to these thick body acrylics to make them liquid? No, I don't. I use fluid acrylics, which I discovered much after starting my career in art. So when I started, when I went to an art shop, I these are the acrylics that I mostly saw in the art store, in the stationery stores, and this is what I ended up buying. And this is what I started painting with. But I think uh, almost five years after my um, experience in art while I was working as a hobby or uh, and then I think two years after I started painting as a profession is when I discovered these paints. Fevicryl acrylic color. So these are uh, fluid acrylics. What it means is they are pretty fluid. So once I open it and show you, you will see they are like pretty much like free flowing colors. They are not so thick body like this. For this kind of paints, you have to mix it with a little bit of water or you can use them dry depending on the kind of painting you're doing. In but this uh, video, what I'm going to do is I, I got these uh, nozzle bottles. These are a little better quality bottles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pour these colors into these bottles and show you how I do it. And you can also do the same thing to store the paints at home. So one of the benefits of doing this is that, you know, you can, um, first of all, it's very easy to take out the color from here, from the nozzle mouth, and you can keep the cap off to uh, protect the paint from drying. And one uh, huge benefit of buying these paints are it's very cost effective. So if you buy this 500 ml ones, I mean, the price of 500 ml is... Uh, where do I see the price? C 
see above I don't see the price let's try one more yeah here you go 300 rupees for 500 ml whereas these are uh, super expensive it's 120 ml and they are 190 rupees right so almost you are getting more than double in the same price right so this is one cost effective way of using these paints and you don't have to buy all the shades okay so that is what i'm going to show you what are the basic shades that you need to buy and store in your nozzle bottle to help you with creating any type of painting all right so i'm just going to remove this thick body acrylic paints and we're going to get straight into the fluid acrylic so these are all my fluid acrylic bottles okay now now you don't need to buy all the shades like i was saying so the very basic colors that you would need for creating any regular painting is white black okay so now the main colors that you need is yellow crimson red and prussian blue this is good to go if you are starting out and you don't want to invest a lot um, black i would suggest you don't need to buy 500 ml one you can buy a 100 ml one also but these are the five basic colors that you need you can mix these colors and come up with all sorts of colors so you can mix these two prussian blue and chrome yellow to get uh, green and then you can use more of yellow or more of uh, blue to change the shade of the green okay so um, i'll get into the color theory maybe in some other video how how you can create the multiple colors using just this basic colors but to begin with if you are investing in your colors so these are the five basic colors that you need to buy to start creating any painting and you can create n number of paintings with these 500 ml bottles of colors okay now along with this i prefer having a couple of more paints uh, now these are optional now it's up to you whether you want to uh, uh, buy it or not one is dark green dark green i really like because i use it a lot but if you don't want to buy it you can always mix these two colors and create dark green okay so it's not absolutely necessary but i like dark green you uh, i use dark green a lot so i prefer having this separately and the color is steel blue i use steel blue a lot so that's why i have bought but this uh, shade i have to tell you that i think this shade came up in this brand probably in 2017 or 18 so before that when i was using this steel blue i did not have this color so i used to mix colors create this shade and store it in my nozzle bottle for easy usage so again this is not a color that you need to invest in if you don't want to and two more colors that you don't need to invest in are pink and orange because you can just mix white and red to make pink and you can mix red and yellow to make orange now um these are again two colors that I use quite a lot, pink and orange. That's why I prefer having them as separate colors. But again, this is not mandatory. One more color is uh, dark brown. Again, this is just for easy usage. I get this color. You can mix uh, red, yellow and white to create brown. So here are the five colors mandatory. And here are the five colors optional that you need to start um for getting any acrylic painting done and you're gonna get amazing results because i have realized that one of the main hesitation of creating painting is wasting colors wasting papers and wasting all sorts of stuff because of which most of the time we end up not creating painting i mean um i have gone through the same thing as well it's not just you okay we all go through the same thing and then i realized that investing in these colors actually makes a lot of sense because it's not too expensive you can use these colors for really long time i have used each of these bottles for more than a year ever since lockdown started i never ran out of paint because i had these 500 ml bottles you can create so many paintings and your confidence in paintings will increase so much more you would not even mind investing in colors after that 
Okay, so having said all of that, I am going to start pouring it in my nozzle bottle. So I got a set of these nozzle bottles and I'm going to start pouring it in. So for white, I just wanted to show you guys that I bought this one. It's a one liter one, not 500 ml. This is 500 ml. I got a one liter one because um, I need a lot of white, right? And the price of this is, you can see it's just 530 for one liter. All right, so let me start pouring. So here is my nozzle bottle. using my knife to open it so you can see the consistency of the color It's really clean flowing. I'm just mixing it up a little bit because I feel there was a little watery. I should have shaken the bottle a bit, you know, because I feel the color is not properly mixed. This I've never faced before. It's the first time that I'm seeing this kind of thing. But anyways, it's not a big problem. You can just shake your bottle and it will be all nicely mixed up. There you go, first bottle is ready. And uh, there is a little bit of extra remaining in this. So I'm going to cover it up and store it separately and use it later once this is over. Here comes my second bottle. And let me start with Prussian blue. This is what happens when you work with colors, your hand is full of paint. But that's okay. I just don't want to spoil the exterior of these bottles so soon. I mean, it is going to get spoiled once I start using it and I have paints in my finger and then I hold the bottle, it eventually becomes really dirty. But to begin with, I want to have like really clean bottle for at least some, some days, if not weeks. Here you go, two of our bottles are ready.
so there you go your first set of colors the five basic colors that you need to create any painting and i think they look fabulous in these bottles i am loving these bottles these are a little different than the bottles that i have been using so far so here are the bottles that i have been using and you can see the difference So now I am going to do the same process for the next set of five colors. Next color, my next favorite color, dark green. I don't use the uh, sap green at all. Um, I think this brand comes up with a color uh, named a sap green but I never use it because I don't use that color too often in my paintings plus I actually like mixing my sap green um, from black and yellow rather than just be a little careful while opening this because it just spoils your hand yeah so I I, um, I mix black and yellow to get that color so I'm thinking of doing a uh, color theory. Um, it's not exactly color theory, but how I use only basic colors to come up with any sorts of color that you can see in my uh, landscapes is a video that I'm planning on doing, let's see. So here goes dark green. Next, I'm going to do orange. Now orange is another color that I don't use too often in my paints, but uh, um, I use it less but uh, I actually prefer using the orange directly rather than mixing and uh, creating because then you actually end up using too much of yellow for uh, creating orange and same thing with uh, pink also you end up using so much of white for creating uh, uh, pink that I feel like investing in pink is actually better than uh, mixing uh, red and white to create pink. And it's actually beautiful how from the top you can see which color is what. That is actually so much more better than uh, my previous nozzle bottles where you could not see which color it is from the top. Next color is pink. And last but not the least, my most favorite teal blue. Well, there you go, your set of 10 colors. Now, I bought these nozzle bottles in uh, in a set of 12. A dozen, so I am left with these two and I'm thinking which colors to pour in there. I think I'm not going to do any more. Um, one color that I have actually is uh, purple, but I don't use purple too often. And even if you want to use, you can mix Prussian blue and pink 
and get that color so I, I don't think I, I need that so I'm gonna store this too and uh, this is our final 10 shades but remember don't feel pressurized to buy all 10 colors to begin with just invest in these five the back row five and you are good to go so let me know if this video was helpful for you if it gave you a push to invest in colors a little bit um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to list down all these colors the bottles and everything in the description below so that you can um, you can buy them and use them and let me know how it helped you um, thank you so much for watching